Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can work with not null constant in SQL. So SQL constraints are basically used to specify rules for for the table data. We are considering here the not null constant. The not null constant enforces the column to never accept null values. That is why it is not null. Never it will never accept null values. If you will add null values after setting it as not null constant, it will show an error. But always remember a column a column can always hold null values. But if you will set the column as not null, adding a null value will show an error. Okay. So let us see an example. Here we have Amit DB database. You can see. Let us go inside the Amit DB database and use it. So I'll create a new table now so that I can easily explain you guys how to work with not null constant, how we can set it. Okay. So let us create a table now. Let us create a new table, create table using create table command, table name, a table name is employee. Within that we will now add the field names with its data type and constants. Let's say our first field is ID that is employee ID. I'll set it as int and I'll set it as not null. So ID is unique for every employee and it is a field which is a must that is an employees all employees always have ID or SSN comma. Let's say the next one we will add is EMP name that is employee name. I'll set it as varchar and I'll set it as not null again. Next is our city. I'll set it as varchar again. Okay. And the last one I'll set it as salary which is int. Salary is in int right 5000, 50,000, 1 lakh. We have added the not null constant that means this won't accept any null values. Let me execute it. It is successful. Okay guys, here it is. Now, now let us insert some values. So for inserting we use insert into. So let's say we inserted the following insert into employee that is a table name and the values for all the four fields. Here it is. Okay for ID we have added one, two here, Tom, Emma and all these. So when I'll execute this, let me execute this before. So when I'll execute this, herein you can see we have inserted it. Okay. So again, I'll just show all the records. Select star from employee. Execute. So we have two records now. Okay. Remember that our ID and employee name is not null. So we can't leave that record. Okay. So guys in this video we saw what is a not null constraint in SQL. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.